If you are someone who has been grounded since you were 12 years old and it has been 33 years and you're still grounded, locked in your room, then today on how to cope with boredom and loneliness, a guide for the isolated, I'm going to help you. What's up everybody, Cyanic Jade here and if you couldn't tell, we're playing How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, a guide for the isolated. This is a free game on Steam. Um, it is listed as weird. So weird and free to play. So uh, heck yeah, I'm going to play it. All right. I... Oh, yes, I can finally use my controller again. I've been having to use a mouse and keyboard. And as most of you know, or if you've watched my previous videos, I don't love mouse and keyboard. So yay, I have my controller here. You are Nigel Wimble, hard-hitting PBTV documentary filmmaker. All right, controller's not working. You are at 23 Millberry, close to finish filming the final episode of your award-winning series, How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, a guide for the isolated. You have come to talk with Harold Fletcher, a 43-year-old man who has been grounded to his bedroom for over 30 years. Since his mother Margaret only allows Harold visitation for 15 minutes a day, you only have enough time to talk about three topics. Carefully choose three items of interest from Harold's room to learn how he copes with boredom and loneliness. Every item tells a story. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> That's that one's story. Uh, but not every story is relevant to Nigel's show. Confirm your selections, then watch the documentary unfold. Cool, so is this like a different endings type thing? You can pick what you want and there's different endings to everything? Your show will be scored by a focus group at the end. Good luck. We're gonna get a 10 out of 10. This is gonna premiere on every late night talk show. Shoot documentary. All right, here we go. I need to select three items first. Oh, my bad. Margaret, but okay, so I'm I'm in. I'm here. All right. What should we do, everyone? Here, okay, let's look at the options. So we have a telescope, mural, a rabbit that wants to die, clock, truck, fish tank, guitar, paper stack, bee poster. I almost said pee poster. <laughs> TV, Margaret, bed, Harold, and that is all. All right, I have got to click on the rabbit. Examine rabbit, think about rabbit, select rabbit. Examine it. This oversized cuddly toy looks like it's grown old with Harold. I bet a story about these two growing up could pull at the heartstrings. Wait, what are those stains? Kevin's been rather good to me over the years. <gasps> no! Kevin! <laughs> Harold, how could you? No wonder he wants to kill himself. <sighs> Poor rabbit! He looks like he wants to die. I now understand. Alright, let's think about it. Potential soundbite. Harold and his co prisoner, co -prisoner. an overstuffed rabbit, have <gasps> been through hell together. But at least they had each other to ease the loneliness. Not a good region for the hankies. <laughs> All right, now we select. Oh, okay, so I have a couple more to pick. So we know what he does with Kevin. Let's see what he does with the B poster. What was the KGB movie came out in the eighties? Was this the last movie Harold went out to see? Boris is actually ex-KGB. He fights for us now. It shows people can change, Mother. This is why I don't allow Harold to watch movies anymore. Rotting his mind with Soviet propaganda. <laughs> this game is hilarious. Why, why do I talk like that, by the way? Oh, this poster looks like it was from the 80s. Who talks like that? Is this the same person voicing every single character? All right, uh, think about it. Potential soundbite. Soundbite. For some, movies are an escape from reality. 
The whole world is reality, is like a movie. One of those terrible indie movies. Yes. Alright. We're gonna select the B poster. One more thing. I wanna know what he does with the paper stack. Who, how can you interest yourself with a paper stack? Also, can we please take a moment to appreciate how pale Harold is? Because he's been in his room for 30 plus years. Really good attention to detail, developers. Thank this you. looks like a screenplay. Is Harold writing a movie? I like to write erotic drama set in science fiction landscapes. Is Kevin a part of those? Do you make your poor rabbit a part of your erotic drama, Harold? Now we gotta select this. Potential soundbite. With Hollywood already filled with deranged <laughs> idiots, could there be room for one more? I am mean. That was a rude statement. All right, three items. Let's shoot it. A guide for the isolated. How to cope with lonely and boredom and loneliness. Are you sure this is the saddest music you could find? <laughs> Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble, award-winning winner. <laughs> Tonight on PBTV, I'm here to meet a man named Harold Fletcher as part of my How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness series. Harold has been grounded to his room for the past 30 years in an isolation case the likes we've never seen before. His mother Margaret, the warden to Harold's prison, has granted Harold a 15 minute visitation break to speak with us. You won't mind a quick strip search for contraband, will ya? We hope he can explain to us how he copes with the boredom and loneliness from 30 years of isolation. Harold and his cohabitor, an overstuffed rabbit, have been through hell together. But at least had each other to ease the loneliness. He looks like he wants yes, to die. Kevin is a dear friend. We've become rather close over these past few years and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. What do you mean by that? Well, Kevin has needs and I have needs. I'm forever sewing that towel back on. <laughs> we saw this kind of thing go on in our prison episode, so I'm not entirely surprised to see it happen in here too. <laughs> Whether this arrangement is mutual, we will never know. I don't think it's mutual. Someone has decided to remain quiet during the making of this documentary. That's not the face of a mutual partner. I've a poster for an old children's movie. For some, movies are an escape from reality. The Herald, his reality, is like a movie. A depressing TV movie starring actors you haven't seen in 20 years. I do love getting lost in a good movie. I think Boris the KGB movie was the last time I did get lost in a movie. It was the last time Mother rewarded me for good behaviour. I remember it like yesterday. Oh, flashback. Aw. No flashback? I'm a B, yeah, I mean, I'm an intellectual, I'm Russian, you see, I'm the homosexual. Who can ride, come, ride your drinks, been laced. I'm gonna tie you up, pollinate your face. I want to torture you, make you scream. After all, I'm honest, the KGB. You got to be there, brother, I'm afraid to lose. I'm a mad brother, but I'm KGB. You want to buzz your face, you can't buzz with me. To the K, to the G, to the mother, but you say so you want to be it. But you gotta die, you better say goodbye. Here comes some cyanide. Oh, why was this band? It was all about the honey. I'm not a traitor. I love this country. You can't release me. You have to see. I'm country first and I'm still KGB. You are no longer KGB. You're just a super worker bee. Prison number 33. Have a number broken me. Would you like a cup of tea? That was just a joke. You see, you'll never see a cup of tea. As long as you're alive, you think coffee is available. If you like a cup of tea, would you like a sugar cube? When I finish, but you can be here, brother, because I ate to please. You better be. <laughs>
Um, that was cinematic gold. I remember I Boris say. used to say, Oh, behave, brother. Get it? Behave? It was awfully funny when Mother used to tell me to behave and I'd retort, Oh, behave, Mother. Do you remember that, Mother? Yes, I do remember, you cheeky little shit. <laughs> then Mother would put you over her knee, but you didn't tell the man that, did you? Have you seen the version on YouTube where the movie speeds up every time Boris kills a dissident? It becomes quite dizzying. A spider screenplay Harold had been working on. A movie producer in the making. He suddenly wouldn't look at a place in Hollywood. He decided to read me some lines from his new screenplay called oh Black Planet and the Tentacle of Temptation. She ran a slightly damp tentacle across his cheek as he gazed longingly into her compound eyes. I don't care that you tried to bite my head off during coitus. I love you, Sheila. Run away to Planet Vargon with me. I love you too, Brad, but my father... Let me talk to him. He'll understand once I show him how much I love you. Now come here and kiss me. Oh, Brad. Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. Brad slowly sticks his finger into her gooey. That will do, Harold. You're a bloody space pervert. Oh my gosh. Tentacle porn. Achievement unlocked. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Join us next week as Nigel investigates sandwiches. Do they really taste better cut diagonally? I'll let the evidence decide. 9 p.m. Wednesday night on PBTV. <laughs> Focus group report. Wow, hard hitting stuff. Anyone know where I could order a rabbit like that? 10 out of 10. Hot dang. A new fan. I wish that mother would behave touching stuff. 7 out of 10. The screenplay sounded hot. When's part 2 coming out? 10 out of 10. Alan from Wallowdale. Okay. Does he write music as well? I mean, I don't think Harold seems that lonely. He's got Kevin. And KGB. That's all you need in life, really. Alright guys, well if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. There's a lot more stuff in this game, so if you would like to see more, we can do a couple more of them. Just let me know. I would love to. This game was pretty freaking funny, actually. So, can only imagine what other stuff there is. Um, Alright guys, see you in the next video.